Today, we will be talking about Judaism and the Super Bowl. Before you watch the Super Bowl, watch this. The first thing I want to recognize that the Super Bowl and the Jews have in common is that when the Jews were being taken over by Egyptians, they had to ram through the water to run so they could escape. And God made it so the other team couldn't get through and made them die. Well, they're not going to die in the game. But the Rams are going to ram through that to the end zone and get a bunch of touchdowns while the Bengals will be stuck in the water trying to get there. The thing that we want you guys to recognize that the Jews and the Super Bowl have in common is that anything can happen in life. And we trust God. Same with the Super Bowl. You don't know what's going to happen in the Super Bowl. It could be 40 to nothing. But anything could happen. You can get a touchdown, and you can do anything in life. Just trust God. Every team player is important. So too, every Jew is important. If you try really hard, you succeed. Just like these players in the Super Bowl. Guys, you could do any mitzvah. Just try hard, and you could do it. The Super Bowl, the, Ken the Kansas Chiefs, and the Tampa Bay Bucks clash. This year they were about to win, but the opposite teams that they faced about last year are now the ones that are on top. It switched around, so like the month of Adar when it was turned from a bad month into the greatest month of them all for the Jews. The quarterback has to take a step back, so too in life. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You know, you kids at home should think of something that connects with Judaism and the Super Bowl. Don't forget your snacks!